disagreements, confrontation, disputes, not seeing eye to eye with each other. That's actually a third one too, is not seeing eye to eye with each other. Those are kind of the same. <laughs> but the whole idea is, I know that when we first got together, I was so afraid to disagree with you. I was so afraid to be like, uh, I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, I think we need to do it this way or that way or whatever the case may be, right? And any time we were arguing or in an argument or disagreeing or whatever it might be, was massive panic for me. Mm -hmm. I immediately thought that there was something wrong. I mean, there was something wrong and there is something wrong in a sense when you're disagreeing with each other, right? But the whole idea is it's a totally normal part of any healthy relationship. And I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, like it's, it's healthy to be your own person in a relationship. It's healthy to have a different point of view. I also, when we first got together, like I was scared of arguing and I didn't think that like, cause we went a long time before we actually had a disagreement and whether that was because like <laughs> one of us was placating the other. One of us was, I or think we were both, both of doing us were, it, for you know, sure. I, I definitely feel like it was me placating and you definitely feel like it was you placating. So that just lets you know, like how much placating was happening. We were just doing our best. And I thought it was a, a, like a badge of honor, a strong suit of how healthy we were, how good we had. Cause we, we never, never argued. <laughs> right. Right. So I'm like, oh, we're getting this right. We're doing this right. And then it became like terrified because I put, if we argue, then it's going to like, we're not really meant to be, it's not going to work out. And like, also like, Arguing is like the disagreeing with somebody to not see it eye to take, maybe even get a little heated. But we're not talking about normalizing like healthy fighting, any kind of physical or sitting there name calling and belittling and attack. Like that's that's a different thing. We're talking about not agreeing with the person. And mm -hmm. maybe you're both like in your emotion and having a reaction because when things matter, then it does stir up an, an action and you it stirs up a reaction. We're not all free from reaction, even though it would be lovely if we were. I am. Right? <laughs> I'm very middle of the road. <laughs> I don't really have many reactions to things. I tend to go with the flow. I agree with anything that you say. That's not healthy. <laughs> That's <laughs> very oh, sad. Sorry, sorry. These things we have to start normalizing. Yes, okay, yeah, yes. Yeah. We get to be our own person, have our own anonymity, experience, perception, uh, opinion, just all of these things like, like we're not always going to match what is healthy is where we don't, we're allowed to not have things match up, but we don't have to make the other person see it our way. And we don't always have to see it the other person's way. So having that healthy disagreement to where we're bringing both of us to the table, that's, I feel like is healthy. I do too. And I also think, because I'm sitting here thinking about it, like what has shaped this in yeah. society, you know, and what shaped this in me, right? This idea that we have to agree with each other all the time and we can't disagree. And if we do disagree, then there's something wrong. And and it's like if there's a disagreement or an argument, then we need to hurry up and fix that and mm -hmm. solve that problem. So then we never have to worry about it again. And I think a lot of times, like when you see couples arguing in movies and on TV and things like that, because of the nature of storytelling, it's very much like beginning, middle, end. And so there might be conflict. Like I'm thinking about The Notebook. Yeah. Right. Where, they also romanticize it. Well, not only do they romanticize that. I mean, The Notebook, you know, we've got different <laughs> eyes now watching that movie than we used to have when we were young and in love. And now <laughs> as, we're... <laughs> as opposed to now. <laughs> now we're just young. Now we're arguing. <laughs> And we're going to show you it's live so action what it looks like. No, but Display healthy arguing. Go. <laughs> the whole idea behind that is it's like you have conflict, you make up, and then live make up happily, ever ever, happily ever after, right? Everything is fine after that. Yeah. And I think... And then you don't argue anymore, right? You don't because argue. everything's fine now. Right. That's yeah. the whole misconception there where... It's like, oh, yeah, it's okay, but then don't ever do it again or it never happens again. Yeah, or nobody ever makes a mistake again. Right? You fix one problem. You have one argument. It might be a big blow up fight. Right. It might be really difficult and hard. You might not talk to each other for a few days or whatever. And then everybody gets over it and we're fine and we move on. Yeah. And I think that at least from our experience, it has been a level of healthy discourse and disagreement and arguing 
on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. It's not to say that we're constantly fighting. Of course, that's not the case. But do you know what I mean? We continually disagree about things. And we have to figure out how to navigate that because that's just the reality. It's just the reality. Right? Yeah. That's the truth. And we have like things that we work really well through. There's a lot of times when conflict has been, in a sense, it's been really healthy for us because it brought us to where we didn't understand there was a disconnect. We didn't know that there was like even a different meaning for what was happening, the expectations or agreements that we thought. So having that come through and being able to see it from the other person's point of view, because we also listen to the other person, has brought a lot of light in our relationship and a lot of connection. And there's still things, there's still things that we don't agree on and we haven't been able to address yet. We still have things that are lurking. You know, there's things that like we even, we have it on the table. Like we know we're supposed to discuss it, but like there's one, for instance, for me that um, you're waiting for me to bring back and I haven't been able to bring it back yet. I haven't been able to like continue this conversation with you and it's honestly because I can't get out of my shadow in it I can't get to a place where I can bring it to you without being toxic you know I feel so upset and I don't know how to see it any other way than like through that like through that lens, lens that you're stuck yeah in. and then that is like that is a definite that's a battle and I don't want a battle and that's not healthy and so I'm trying to figure out I still haven't been able to trying to figure out how to bring this conversation back because you're waiting for me to do it and I'm like I don't know how to do it because I'm still really like hurt and in my feels and and like that's but choosing like it's not an avoidant it's trying to you know I love the saying clean up my side of the street first you know I'm trying to clean up my side of the street so I can come to you in a healthy, not a perfect way, which I do have perfectionism issues, but I want to come to you in a healthy way because it's so, so important that we don't have to agree, but I'm not coming at it healthy. I'm coming at it angry, mad, hurt, feeling wronged, feeling, feeling like I need to be um, like, I don't know what the word is. Like <laughs> all I can think of is a vigilante <laughs> and I need to be like the, the one that holds it and makes it right. You know, the, yeah. The judge and jury, you know, I'm, that's not a healthy way to come at your partner. So I can't bring it to I you like yet. I like vigilante stuff. Right? Well, <laughs> tell her that. She's like, okay, here's my list. <laughs> so like there's, it being healthy doesn't mean it's not hard. Doesn't yeah. mean that it's not scary. Doesn't mean that you get it, you know, wrong. We're getting it wrong and we're getting it right. But thinking that if you argue something's wrong or if you can consistently 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 because the words are hard right now word. consistently Jeez, consistently thank you for the people in the back <laughs> <laughs> argue or are toxic with each other that it's like it's healthy you know mm -hmm. what i mean we're not saying it toxicity is healthy we're saying healthy debate healthy like this is where i am this is where you are it's it's so healthy to not agree with everything people say around you this is another part that we highlighted in the in the reel and the piece of content, the whole idea of you have to see eye to eye on everything. Mm -hmm. They're kind of the same thing, right? You're going to argue and you're going to disagree about things and conflict's going to come up and happen. And then there's just going to be things in your relationship that you don't agree on. Mm -hmm. And there's not going to be a resolution. There's not going to be a moment in time where, oh, I see it your way and now I've changed my mind or, or a decision that we need to make. Like there's plenty of things in our relationship that we don't agree on, yes. that we just don't see eye to eye on. And that was something that I also had to learn over the course of our relationship yeah. because that felt really, really dangerous to me. Mm -hmm. Like if we didn't see eye to eye on everything and didn't agree 100% on whatever it might be, like even just the silliest of things like... Liking what pumpkin type of coffee. Pumpkin coffee or <laughs> what type of milk we're going to buy right? or, you know... Which way the toilet paper roll goes yes. on. Like I think we All have content silliness. on that even. <laughs> <laughs> All of those things. Yeah. It was like we have to agree mm -hmm. on everything and be on the same page with everything and see eye to eye on everything. Otherwise, that was trouble for our right. relationship. 
And I don't think it's, you know, there's that, that's so far from the truth. Right. The reality is it's not healthy mm -hmm. to move through life that way. It's incredibly difficult and challenging and creates so much tension. And, and we, I can feel that tension. Like I remember feeling, you know, pretending that we agreed on everything. And the reality is one of us was right. not in agreement. It's so bizarre. It's so bizarre. Like I can still feel it. Like there's times it's still hard for me. There's times when things will come up and, you know, to be able to say, uh-uh, is still challenging at times. And also, I've got a lot of practice, so I have to watch that not everything has to be a debate, too. Sometimes you're a little hungry for it. <laughs> <laughs> we were meant to be. We were meant to be. We were meant to be.